Welcome to the world premiere of the E3 2019 Dying Light 2 gameplay demo. Dying Light 2 is an open world action RPG game that gives you the power to make choices that change both the narrative and the world around you. The mission we're about to see is crucial for the narrative. The city is on the brink of destruction as drinking water is just about to end. Our guide and friend, Frank, believes that the only person that can solve the drinking water problem is the Colonel, a man with a bad reputation, who leads a group called the Renegades from the city's pumping station. Frank uses his status to call a meeting between the Renegades and the officers from the two main factions that operate in the city. Our game's protagonist, Aiden Caldwell, is invited as well, and he's just about to join the others. out with the colonel, I won't have to. What if we don't? Then tomorrow, this place is done. Either way, tonight should be a party. Let's go get one. We celebrate early. Cheers to you, Aiden! Where's the big guy? Is he late? Or is he just a yeah. Matt's upstairs, waiting. You know this blows. Lola's last show, and here I am. Going to grovel with the butcher. Matt, it's time. Let's go. Matt? I'm drinking. See, this is why we're screwed. I just... Fuck it, gonna get along with anyone. Enough. Look, fellas, either the colonel turns on his gold-plated taps, or we're all dead. So seeing as he's graciously agreed to talk, we're gonna dress up real nice and go to his island on our very best behavior. Now move your ass, Matt. Only if I can kick here. After the slaughter. We're in the central part of the city, so-called District 2. The city is made up of seven very different regions, and each one is a truly individual environment that introduces new parkour moves, enemies, and gameplay mechanics. Eight. Hey. What, are you not going? Oh, there's a lot of them down there. Things will get fucked up at the castle, I guarantee it. You got a plan B? I'll improvise. What if he improvises? It'll work out. You so sure about that? Frank! Fuck! Knew it! <laughs> Weapon modding makes a comeback in Dying Light 2. We have a modded weapon, and so now, let's find a good moment to use it. Run away. Uh, 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 you're as good as 
dead. I'm taking you out. They will be friends. You get after those fuckers. I'll look after him. What happened? What happened? Those fucking renegades shot him. Where were you? <laughs> and, and hold still. And catch that truck, or you would never get onto that alley. The first choice: chase the truck or stay with Frank. Just keep him alive. Stay in contact. Now run! Damn it! Run! Hold on, Frank. Okay, let's chase the truck and see what consequences that brings. The truck is gone, but this tall building looks like a great vantage point. We should use it. As you can see, life is booming on the rooftops, and this is something you can change by your actions and decisions. Hey, have you found the truck yet? Not yet. Matt? Can you see the truck? I'm looking us, Frank. Can't find the doctor. But don't think about that now. I'm on it. That's the Renegade's truck. I have it. I'll get them for this, Matt. Just keep your cool, kid. Remember, what matters is the water. This calls for something special. <laughs> oh, shit. In Dying Light 2, we have doubled the number of parkour moves, so let's use some of them now. deep inside a dark zone. Let's run away quickly because the infection will kill us. Hey. UV flashlight, very strong, but needs to be aimed. Oh, come on, come on. Our stamina level seems to be too low to open it.
infection progresses. Our biomarker is turning red. Another way to use UV light is the UV flare. It covers a big area, but lasts only for a few seconds. Matt! Oh, come on, Matt, Matt, I lost it, Matt! Wait. We've got a fish. Confirmed. They're heading onto the viaduct uh, now. Uh, which viaduct? Over the track. Okay, on my way. Be careful, Wade. The Colonel, he's a psycho. He doesn't mess around. Neither do I. <laughs> Just drive. I was doing nothing, man. Just chilling. And bam, suddenly everyone's clawing at each other like fucking rats. You mind? Can't handle this sober. So much to see a gun, I shit myself. It's like a disability, you know? This one time I saw this guy knife two dudes in the metro straight up stab them, then pulled out a grenade. How much longer? It was a fucking grenade, man. I thought it was dead. Why did you shoot Frank? I didn't shoot nobody. It must have been some kind of fuck up, man. Was he your friend? Of course he fucking was. You gonna kill me? Steve, pick up your fucking stoner. Say everything is fine. I'm here, you bitches! Where the hell you been, right? Coming in. Yeah, he's on his... Uh, uh, I, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everything's fine. Just don't screw up the code. Someone will finally get to shoot you. Uh, guys, I love you. Get a bigger ass clown for this. What is the code? Three horns. No. No, no, no. Three horns. You better get it right. So this is where the Colonel resides. It seems we're entering the heart of darkness. So just to recap, the city is out of drinking water and people believe only the Colonel can solve this. We tried to talk with his emissaries, but something went wrong. It's time to talk to this guy in person. The fate of the city is in our hands now. What's wrong? Fuck! Guys! Three short ones! What is wrong? Good thing we didn't kill Steve. Without him, and the code, getting in would be much more difficult. They're gonna kill me! 
Steve. I have to raise the alarm. Don't even try, or I'll come back for you. I'm on the island. What's with the butcher thing? All I see is regular people. Huh. Now, I should talk to the colonel. The time for talk is over. Frank's dead. You there? Hey. Our friend, Frank, is dead. If we had chosen to stay with him, Perhaps this story would look differently. But now, this raises the stakes for all of this. Okay, this looks like the colonel's place. Let's pay the guy a visit. Colonel. She is afraid of you. Play, Anna. There's nothing to fear. So you've come to kill me, have you? I've come to turn on the pumps. 
I won't let you do that. Where's Frank? He's dead. Dead? How? Your man shot him. Wait, Sam. You saw it happen? You saw my man shoot? No, Matt did. Matt? I sent five men. Where are they? Hey! What's happened? Look, we can count bodies later. The city's waiting for water. Stop! Water? You can't turn on the water from here. They played us, don't you understand? Don't listen to him. Turn on the pump. You do know what he wants, right? He wants you to kill me. Open the doors and let his butchers in. You want water for the city? I know how to get it. But you've got to trust me. For fuck's sake, he killed Frank. The colonel looks like he knows what he's talking about. But can we trust him? On the other hand, we really need that drinking water. And we need it today. I'm turning on those pumps. What a pity. This is another new Dying Light tool. The Scorpio. It's a devastating ranged weapon that basically one-shots your enemies. The grappling hook can also be used during combat and combined with other moves. But the colonel's getting away. Fuck him. The water's what matters. I'm turning on the pumps. These pumps should have his own valve. Fine. went off. The pumps stopped. What, what's going on, Matt? It's just an old piece of junk. Find the control room and turn on the main valve before the whole thing falls apart. I'll find it. Stay on the radio. Okay, I'm in the control room. Good. The main valve should be somewhere there. Frank would be proud of
Light 2 gives you the power to make choices that have massive consequences for the whole city, the sandbox space of our game. Turning on the pumps reveals a huge open world region for you to explore, with new mechanics, quests, and things to find. It also changes the direction of the narrative. The Colonel was right. There really was a plot against him. But only he knew the area was flooded for a reason. Thank you for watching the demo of Dying Light 2.